can I drive? <laughs> you can drive an ID bus, but not this car. Okay, so now we're engaged. The driver will keep his hands uh, very close to the, the steering wheel to be ready to intervene if needed. How aggressive is your reaction policy? There is also in, in natural drivers. Yeah, yeah. One would stay calmer, no? And, and the other would probably react more uh, agile to a certain situation. And it's probably preferable to stay a little bit calm. That's always the, the context side of things, right? Which for a machine, that's the hard part. So of course, there's the unpredictability of, of humans. So we need to, to fine tune this. Yeah, for example, pedestrian on the side, it, it's easy for a human, but it's not always easy for us to predict that they're not going to move. So how would you interpret the intentions of the pedestrian? That, that's one of the hardest parts in the that's whole thing. Right. Because as a human, you use a lot of little clues that are uh, more difficult to, to teach to a computer. So how do you deal with redundancies? Uh, because you need redundancies yeah. not to be safe. There's multiple pipelines. Um, so there is a, a camera only pipeline. There's a LiDAR only pipeline. There's a, um, a camera and LiDAR fusion uh -huh. pipeline. Uh, there's the radar pipeline. Uh, so you will get three or four exactly detectors and then it goes into the, the fusion and tracking system that takes all this input and builds one environment model. One environment yeah, model. Yeah. Okay. With everything that's seen and that's passed then to the, to the prediction okay. module in the future and then that goes to the to the planner and then that to the to the controller and then to the vehicle. How do you think your drive is going so far? Yes, good. Autonomous driving is part of our growth strategy. In 2025, we as Volkswagen Commercial Vehicles aim to roll out fully autonomous mobility here with our ID bus. We are taking big milestones towards uh, autonomous driving and looking forward to have that in Hamburg and in Munich in, in due time. And the aim is large. We want to be safer as a human can be. The compute system are always focusing on what's going on. The computer cannot look away, cannot look on the smartphone, is always awake. And this is the reason why we believe the robot mobility will be even safer than a human can be in public transport. Was your ride? Yeah, good. Are you happy with the progress? I'm quite impressed because it's the combination of so many things. So we have the, the latest generation of the Argo system. Yeah, uh, you see with the Argo LiDAR. Okay. And we are riding in Europe as the next region after US. And you see so how many differences do we have to US? Cyclists, trucks are different, roundabouts, uh, traffic lights. Now we are now here in the northern part of Munich and how far can you expand the areas where you can drive? We are preparing business, so we want to go where the most people need uh, mobility. We want to be part of the public transport system in the future and we also aim doing some good business, press services, prepared food and all this kind of stuff. The vehicle itself, uh, ID bus, suits this task well, I would suppose, no? because it is a typical light commercial vehicle where you can transport people and goods. Yeah, the ID bus has several advantages. It is it's super iconic, it's super sympathetic, uh, it's pure electric, and then we are able to serve in Europe kind of an intermediate phase of the right pooling approach, so several customers... So you could mix uh, manual driven buses with automotive. Uh, that, that's the point, we can mix the fleets, we can do some pooling, we can in US do right hailing and we can do some goods transport. So it's a some universal vehicle. When 
we started this project, we had that in mind, no? and I think uh, uh, it worked out well. Yes. No? We have a vehicle, we are driving, we are in Europe and the US. I'm, I'm happy with the decision we made. As we saw, we have a lot of sensors in the autonomous vehicle, like radars, lidars and cameras. And a lot of data is produced by these sensors and the data is exchanged between the vehicle and the different cloud systems. And additionally, a lot of data is exchanged between the vehicles directly. We distinguish between three different cloud systems. On the one hand side, we have the cloud from our self-driving system provider, Argo. On the other hand, we have the cloud from our mobility service provider, Moya. And the third cloud is our own cloud from Volkswagen Commercial Vehicle. And all these three cloud systems exchange data with each other and with the autonomous vehicle. One example for the interaction between the Argo cloud and the Moya cloud is the route calculation. Moya decides which route is the most efficient one to bring the customer to his planned destination. On the other hand, Argo knows which route is the ideal route for the autonomous vehicle. That is why both parties need to agree on a common route. Our overall goal is to provide autonomous mobility services to all of our customers from 2025 onwards in many big cities throughout Europe and the US. Today, we already have a lack of drivers. So autonomous driving is the key to further growth within the mobility sector. No matter whether you drive autonomously or not, you benefit from the swarm data. The swarm data is used in order to improve vehicle services like safety, traffic prediction, and the search for parking lots, for example.